Hello everyone, I am Bipin Zushi. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create your first web application using ace.net core file preview 1. Specifically, I am going to show you three things. First, I will show you how you can download and install .NET 5 Preview 1 on your machine. I will then proceed to create a new ASP.NET Core 5 application that displays a list of employees in the browser. Finally, I will also show you how you can migrate an existing ASP.NET Core 3.1 project to ASP.NET Core 5 Preview 1. Let's begin by installing .NET 5 Preview 1 on your machine. First, you need to navigate to .NET.Microsoft.com. You can see uh, the page uh, in my browser. Then I click on Downloads. Downloads link at the top. It will take you to this particular page. On this page, here you have Advanced option. When you have all .NET Core downloads, I click on that. Here you see the entry .NET 5.0 Preview 1. So I click on that further. It will take you to this page. You would like to download the SDK because you want to develop applications using .NET uh, 5. So under uh, this Build Apps SDK section, I am now clicking Windows and it will ask you to uh, save the installer which you can uh, download onto your machine and later you can run the installer to complete the installation. Okay, now that I have installed .NET 5 Preview 1 on my machine, let me create ASP.NET Core 5 web application. Uh, so I have opened Visual Studio 2019. I would also suggest that you update your Visual Studio uh, to the latest version. I am now saying File, New, Project. Here I pick ASP.NET Core Web Application as the project type. I say Next. Let me do some copy paste. I am giving project name as binary intellect dot demos dot first app ASP.NET Core 5. Let me also specify some location. I say create. Here I will now pick uh, the project template that I want. So since I want to create ASP.NET 5 project, I am picking ASP.NET Core 5.0 in this uh, drop down. So I pick that. I will then pick web application model view controller. The other settings I will keep uh, untouched. Here you can see that uh, our project is going to use .NET Core 5 preview 1 and I will then click on create. Okay, so here you have a new project created in Visual Studio 2019. If you open the CSPROJ file in uh, the editor, you will find that the target framework is set to .NET Core App 5.0 because uh, we selected uh, .NET 5 as our uh, framework. Now let me add NuGet package for Entity Framework Core because we want to do some database uh, querying uh, operation. So. I right click on dependencies, I will click on manage NuGet packages. I will go to browse tab. I will look for 
Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server. Now make sure that uh, include pre-release checkbox is checked in in this page so that you will be able to see Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server version 5.0 so I pick this up and I click on install See okay. See accept. After installing the new Git package, I will just uh, expand the dependencies folder just to ensure that it's there. Uh, you can also see its entry in uh, the CSPROZ file uh, under package uh, reference. So here you can see Microsoft on a different book core.sql server. So now we have added uh, the required new gate package. Now let me add a new folder called data access. Um, this folder will have uh, will add uh, the entity uh, classes and the DB context. Since I want to display a list of employees, I am creating an entity class called employee. Let me do some copy paste to save some time. So here I have the employee class with three properties, employee ID, first name and last name. This is the employee entity class. I will now add one more class called app db context which represents uh, the db context again let me do some copy paste so here me also add the required namespace so here we have app db context class uh, with uh, employees db set i will also register this uh, db uh, db context in the startup class for dependency injection so So in the startup class, I will go to configure services method. There, I will add this line of code. Let me fix that error by adding the namespace. Okay, so here basically you are registering the uh, custom DB context uh, with the dependency in injection uh, framework. And we, here we say that our database connection string comes from the configuration file and it is stored with name app db so let me add that connection string also so i open app settings.json and there i will add the database connection string so here is the connection string i am connecting with the local installation of sql server and I want to read data from Northwind database. So that's what this connection string specifies. Okay, then let me close this. This completes my DB context and the entity class. Now, let me go to home controller. In home controller, I will Uh, 
uh, we'll receive the appdb context uh, instance uh, injected by uh, the dependency injection framework into this uh, local variable db i will then go to the index action when i will write some code to get the data from the uh, employees table So here I am writing a simple query which picks uh, uh, the first uh, nine, the original uh, data from the Northwind employees uh, table. Uh, and I am also calling to list to realize the data and the list of employees is passed to the index view. On the index view, we will basically simply display the data in tabular format. So let me also go to index view. And here I will simply iterate through the data. The model is uh, list of employee objects. And there I will simply iterate through the data and display employee ID, first name and last name. I will save everything. I will run. So the browser is loading the page. See advanced. I will see accept and continue. And here you have uh, list of employees uh, from the Northwind database. In the previous example, you created a new ASP.NET Core 5 web application. Now in this example, I will show you how you can migrate existing ASP.NET Core 3.1 applications to ASP.NET Core 5. So here in the Visual Studio, you can see the exactly the same application, but built using ASP.NET Core 3.1. First of all, before I perform any migration, let me show you that it is really using ASP.NET Core 3.1. So let me open the project file. And here you can see the target framework. It is Net Core App 3.1 and the NuGet package Microsoft Identity Framework Core.SQL Server. It is also 3.1.2. Now we would like to migrate it to .NET 5.0 Preview 1. So what I can do is I will first update the NuGet package to use the latest version. So in this dialog, I will go to updates, updates. There, currently we have 3.1.2 and the available is version 5.0. Right? So that this is what we want in as a part of the migrating uh, the application. So I select this, I click on update. So now uh, it has been updated uh, to version 5.0. Secondly, I will right click on the project in Solution Explorer and I will click on properties. In the properties page, currently you can see the target framework to be .NET Core 3.1. I will change this to .NET 5.0. Here it is the first entry .NET 5.0. I will change it let me save it you could have also done this change directly in the cs uh, file it basically changes the target framework 
So as you can see, since I changed there to .NET 5.0, here the target framework is now .NET Core App 5.0, and the new NuGet package is also has been referenced. Uh, let me close everything. Let me just uh, build the project before I run. Okay, and now I will run the project. Now this project we was originally uh, ASP.NET Core 3.1 project, which we have now migrated to .NET uh, 5.0 TU1. Okay, so here you have list of employees uh, displayed in the browser. 